let's go over the weight gain patterns of the romantic and the dramatic types. Um, I will make several videos. They just get really long. Um, I'm going to try to be short-winded, and that is hard for me. So what I want to preface with is that with Kiwi, even though there are weight gain patterns, it's going to vary a little bit because we're not in fruit shapes. Um, and there are several fruit shapes within a type. So you'll have your figure eight hourglass and your apples and pears within the romantics, right? All three of those body types do get more rounded in areas and in similar areas, but the degree of how they round and where they're going to gain most of their weight is going to be different. Um, so while Kibi says they can get rounded all over, yes, they can, and yes, they do. However, there's a pattern that is going to be more dictated by your fruit shape um, for weight gain patterns within your Kibi type. And then I also want to state that if you feel lost within your Kibi type, McJimsey states in her book, like, there are so many more combinations you can have, and Kibi kind of lumps those into one category, so, like, flamboyant gamines he's taken mcjimsey's natural gamine and dramatic gamine and put them in the same category and so they wear the same clothes that it's not true um the natural gamine will need to lean more relaxed and natural in their yang and have softer yang and and the more dramatic will have to be sharper and that falls in between all the yin and yang of all the types and all the different ways you can combine types so that being said when i have, I have a romantic in mcjimsey she might be like a romantic you know dramatic or romantic classic i, I you know whatever I, i'm not here to type mcjimsey these ladies because they've already been type kiwi but i'm going to go through and say i think that weight gain patterns vary even more particular to um, your typing, like if you were a natural gamine, you would gain different than a dramatic gamine, etc. So keeping all that in mind, I will try to cover those things. Romantics, rounded all over is what they say. So when you're looking at uh, Delta, she is thin, but she's also um, getting rounder and rounder. So you see her here. She's soft, you know, in this area, and then she's got her nipped waist. Same, her, but here you see her arms are slightly starting to gain. She's starting to come a little more round in this area. She's rounder in her cheeks, right? You can see that throughout, rounder and rounder, especially down here. She's rounding, rounding. She's getting rounder. In her feminine spots, like all these areas, round out. Um, bottoms of legs and arm, bottoms of arms can sometimes stay thinner in these figure eight hourglass romantics. We, um, I'm one of these, so I, I can say that down here. I'll get a little bit if I get heavy, like in my calves, but not really in my lower arms. It's here and here. We just become very hippie and very snowmen like. Um, when I come through and look at other romantics, okay, Kate Winslet, she's a perfect example. She's more of an ethereal, dramatic romantic. She is like nine heads tall in McJimsey. If you, no matter what height you are, if you're doing eight heads, you're going to have a vertical within there. I think that's how we figure out um, a flamboyant gamine is if you're narrow and have a lot of heads, you're having that juxtaposition in another way um, is what I've discovered with this. Oops, sorry. And, oops, with her, she does become rounded here and here. She's got longer hip line. I swear she's soft dramatic, but, you know, I'm not Kiwi, so whatever. In Big Jimsy, she is. So she still has that snowman-like shape. Um, but she... You know, she does have a vertical. Look at when she doesn't accommodate her vertical. It looks off. I don't like it. She needs to accommodate her vertical. I mean, I could be wrong, but, you know. And she also looks larger here. Like, her bones are starting to look heavier. She has heavier bone structure, in my opinion. She doesn't have that petite. But 
I'm going to go over her weight gain pattern. We're going to do dramatics anyways. And watch. I think she gains more like a soft dramatic. You'll see. So you'll see rounding, rounding. Um, and again, soft dramatics do gain similar sometimes to romantics or sometimes they gain like dramatics. All right. Drew Barrymore, apple, fruit shape. She's gaining a little bit differently. She gains rounder all over, but she gets round in her tummy here. She gets round, rounder in this area. You see how she's rounding in here? She's still getting rounder. She's just a narrower overall person because she's an apple, not an hourglass or a figure eight hourglass, but she's gonna get round in these areas. All right, it's slightly different. You can see here, she does have a little bit of that hourglass because apples do have a slight hourglass. And then here, but they're very rounded people too. So that's why they're romantics. Like, and that's why you could have several fruit shapes in, um, you know, one. All right, I do want you to pay attention to this picture of Selena. I want you to look here at how squishy she looks right in this area that squish i want you to remember that because i'm going to go into a dramatic in a moment and show you in fact i am going to go over right now from my theatrical romantic to my dramatic and show you taut taut flesh do you see how it's not squishy here um it's real tight and firm and then we'll go back to selena who is not tight and firm. She is fleshy. And that is the difference between yin and yang flesh. If you are a fleshy person, you absolutely know the difference. We see you guys all the time and wonder why we're so squishy. I don't know because I'm not the other type. If you guys look back at us and wonder why we're so squishy and why you're so tight. And if you envy our squish. Because we envy your tot. <laughs> I would tell you. I have been many of envious times uh, of a wondering why the soft natural can pull off these looks i'm like i'm an hourglass i don't understand and finally i understand that i am just softer and i used to think i had no shoulders and the things that are kibi like that i always thought of anyways so when you look at her she's just long and lean and she is soft she has slight hourglass um i did pull up a picture of her um here to show you, like, uh, she's gaining, they gain this way on the side more than from the front. They stay pretty narrow. Um, and then from the side, you can see, like, this picture in the middle and the one on the bottom right. Um, this one and this one are only a few days apart. So you can see it's the side where you see it and her petite and all that, not on the front as much. Um... And you can see here where she was starting to gain. From here, the squishiness starting and then just squishier. I mean, so she's not even huge. It's just that she's squishy. Uh, I do have a picture of her in this red dress um, from the front that I pulled up a second ago. And I did draw on it and then I remade this video. So let's do this. When you see her, you, saw, you see that from she's filling out here. They're fill, she fills out fills out here but from the side she still looks narrow and this is that waspish waist is that fills out fills out doesn't get thicker right um so that's what we're seeing in that um in that i don't have a mila kunis up here i don't think which i don't know why because let me look in my theatrical i didn't um mila gains very different and i don't know why i don't have her picture here she gains more like a dramatic. Um, she gains like our, our friend here um, who, jeez, I just had her name earlier and I forgot it came back to me from the Elvis movies. Um, it'll come back in a, in a moment. But she gains more like a Mila. Um, again, you can see here in the front is where they start putting it on. You can see she's starting to like kind of thicken almost in that dramatic way. And then um, she does round out. And then she's a little older here. So her waist is going to thicken because of menopause. But she remains that same 
same shape as she's gaining um, that narrow but rounded, you know, shape. It, it, it doesn't change much. So it's in this area um, she's gaining and she gains a little different. Amila Kunis also gains in that area and gains more like this. But they do stay rounded and narrow. They just gain more like a dramatic. And I'll show you because they're pulling more yang. Now, you'll see when we do the dramatics. I like using Selma because she's curvy already and she gains as a theatrical manic. She stays narrow. So here you go. We got her shape. So since she's already the fuller hourglass and not the narrower, it's easier to see like here where that fullness is coming. Like she just gets full. So you see how she's just getting softer everywhere and more, I just call it full because she is getting, she's staying narrow. She's just, everything's softening. Squishier. Everything becomes a little squishier, um, if that makes sense. And I think this is a good example how a theatrical romantic can pull off the column dress. Because it's still, like, hugging her curves and it's shiny, so that helps. But she is still curved there. It still shows them a bit. So that's, that's nice to see. A little bit more full. Now, when I come into dramatics... What I notice with my dramatic people here is we're gaining... The, Kibi says they gain below the waist, and I can see what he's talking about. It's this area right here. Shoulders do remain slightly narrow. Um, they're not narrow because they have a larger frame, but they're gaining, you know, right here is where they're gaining, in my opinion. Now, there could be some that gain below the waist more, just like some romantics gain in the middle more. Um... But even over here, what I'm seeing is right here in this area is where we're seeing it. Maybe even down to the hips a little bit. That's that this area. And I'm wondering, even though her hips are narrow, if she didn't get some thickness in her hips, you know, from her smaller days. Um, but I notice it just remains very square. And then within this area of the rectangle is where I notice that weight gain, if that makes sense. Um, now, like when I go to the soft dramatics, I, I think Adele gains more like a romantic. And But I do think you probably have where some gain more like a dramatic. Same with your romantics like and theatrical romantics. So they can go either way in their weight gain. I think you can have a more yin or a more yang pattern. You're still going to overall be fleshy. Um, but I'm sorry. You know, Adele did, she's rounded. And she went the opposite. Like, we knew her, you know, as, and you see there's more angularity to her curve. We knew her and watched her hourglass form. But even if you come here when she was a little bit heavier, you can see she had that going on. She just wore larger dresses and hid that, hid herself. Had she wore, like, more of this, we would have seen. This is, I think, as she started losing weight, she felt more comfortable. Had she been wearing these all along, we would have seen her, whoa, beautiful curves. <coughs> <coughs> Um, but you can also see how she can also, as you gain, even as a romantic, if you keep gaining at some point, you kind of start losing that little bit of waste. You'll start thickening. And a romantic type will lose that too. Um, you'll be able to see it sometimes, but because here she, you know, wears something a little bit more, but it's easier to hide that and lose that and not think you have that if you're wearing larger clothes and you are you know, a more curvy type. So, like, if you're wearing this, you might not feel as curvy. Sure, she's wearing it. It's, she has the vertical to support it, but it's not as flattering because she's not highlighting her, her curves as she could be, you know, flattering herself, like in these some of these dresses with her weight gain. Again, we have more voluptuous, more hips, just rounding out of everything. 
Um, I do notice that with the soft dramatics, their faces stay a little bit more taut than a romantic would. Um, Barbara Streisand gains more like a dramatic type now. She gains, even though she's soft dramatic, right in this these areas, she gets bustier, but she's gaining here, and she plays more towards her dramatic than to her romantic side. But this is where she's gaining. She has a more dramatic weight gain pattern. So I do think that as a type, even though there's one type, there that's why you're like, hey, wait, I don't follow that weight gain pattern. I follow this one, but I have softness. You might. You might just lean more dramatic. You might just lean more romantic. You know, you you all of this has to be taken into account. And I know Kibi has these arbitrary rules. It's based off of McJimsey's system. And McJimsey allowed for a lot more freedom. He tried to streamline it. And I think his recommendations for outfits for the types are really great. And then you can steal from those like natural types and then get mean types and kind of mix it together to come up with the types he left behind, if that makes sense. Um, and... So there is some usefulness to it, but I really urge everyone who is confused in Kibi to come back over and follow me more for McJimsey stuff. Um, I mean, right in her book, she says, again, you can be a gamin dramatic. You can be a uh, dramatic romantic. You can be a natural gamine. You can be a gamine natural. It's different. Right? You're using one as a modifier uh, to describe the type that you are. So it becomes very different if you're a romantic dramatic. You're a dramatic type. That's vertical first. Then you have some softness. Whereas if you're a dramatic romantic, you're softness first. And then you accommodate maybe some vertical or some something along the lines in your dramatic piece, whatever that is. And then McJimsey goes on to talk about our faces and how our face might not match our body, but then, then you use your collars and things like that and coloring around your face to really highlight that so you are draping your body and your face appropriately. You mix it all together. It's a kind of a beautiful combination of Kitchener and Kibi where they pulled it apart and made two different systems. She already had a complete system. Um, but, you know, men like to mansplain. And that was my pro-women speech there so stay tuned um i will be moving on to the natural types next and uh i will make another video on the naturals and the classics um i don't know how long they get so i want to try to keep them shorter and i'll do until i feel like they're getting too long and then i'll add a few more videos in the series all right thank you please like add share um and i do do typing if you are curious